So welcome, welcome everybody. It's May 3rd, 2020. And it's a beautiful day today and you are at Korea, channeling Korea. So um, just a short intro. I know most of you know who um, Korea is. And it's, I just want to mention that Korea is really an entity that is um, like a, more of a, a support in a supporting role. There are different roles. There are people who actually come on earth to experience and play on this playground called earth and then um, to support the people that actually come here the souls that come here to play they have to somebody has to prepare the earth and also make sure that um, the earth is the energy of the earth it's really supporting everyone that's playing on it and having experiences on it and and Korea is one of this kind of um, soul or entity that support is, is in a supportive role. So this is who I'm channeling and um, the, the way this, the rest of this event goes is I'm going to lead everybody into a short meditation and to get myself and um, kind of tuned in being at the more connected to myself and also more in the receptive mode for Kriya to come in. And then whenever um, I'm ready or whenever Kriya is ready, then I do the start the channeling. And, um, and then the message comes through. I have no idea what's going to be said. And then when it's done, then we'll have a uh, question and answer period. If you want to know anything in particular, whether it's something related to the channel or whether it's something that it's, you kind of um, have a question in your life, then I'll, I'll do my best to uh, channel whatever the answer is from Korea for you. So here we go. Let's just do a short meditation first. So then um, make yourself comfortable if you're not already. And then just start to um, take in a deep breath. And let go. And then continue on to follow your own breath. Nice and easy, you don't have to do anything too strenuous. Just easily follow your own breath and as you breathe in, slowly breathing in. And when you cannot breathe in anymore, then just breathe out. And then repeat that a few more times. And every time you start to breathe out, then allow yourself to go deeper into yourself. And what I mean by deeper is to let go of any um, thoughts, let go of anything that is distracting you, and just tune in to yourself. And also move your focus from your head into your heart. Because your heart is actually situated in about the, the middle of your torso. So it, when you tune in to your heart, you're actually tuning into deeper parts of yourself. The two goes hand in hand. So instead of looking and relying on outside stimulus, just start to tune inside and hear your own heartbeat. Pretend that you can hear your own heartbeat 
some of you will be able to if you really pay attention. You will start to hear this heartbeat. And allow this heartbeat to move from your heart like a ripple. Allow it to be transferred to all around you, all in your body. And surround yourself in this bubble. This bubble that is made up of the sound wave of your own heartbeat. And if any thoughts come in, then just allow it to come in and then allow it to leave. No need to resist. Let it come in and let it leave. And as the more you're able to do this, the more you focus in on yourself. You start to tune into who you truly are. You're not this body. You're not the noise outside. You are just a sound wave, a consciousness that can shift your focus from inside your body to all the way outside around you. And if you want, you can actually go and shift your consciousness wherever it is that you would want to be, wherever it is that you're curious. And explore all around you and all within yourself because that's what you all, each and every one, are here to do, to explore. It is just that most of the time we are so taken by the view outside. We have all these attention. What is that sound? What is that beautiful sight outside? What is that little animal running by? What is that funny looking tree outside? Each time we look outside, we send a part of our awareness out. And that is great. However, what we send out, somehow we forgot to bring it back in. So now it's time for each and every one of you to bring it back in. As you explore the outside world, also know that you need to bring it back in. And when you bring it back into your own awareness, Allow it to be fully integrated with your consciousness. So that your attention is like a trained horse that can take you on a ride, but also know how to come back home. Rather than being a wild horses, rather than being 
<clears throat> a whole group of wild horses just going out chasing experiences and chasing exploration and then get lost forever know that it is right to explore it is right to be curious however it's also important to come back home to yourself and when you bring it back in you're enriching yourself and every time you bring your attention back in you are not just bringing in you you are bringing in the new you with new experiences and that's how you can grow as a consciousness as we able to do that circular motion of going out exploring experiencing and then come back home to yourself to integrate and to enrich and to dip inside and get to know what's within you as well as much as there are so many things to explore outside of you there are also so many things that you can explore within yourself because you have only touched the surface the you the you that you think are you is actually just a fraction of who you truly are you are actually much much more than that when you come back to yourself and let go of the service you let go of the you that needs to eat two maybe three meals a day let go of the you that thinks that it needs sunshine let go of the you that think that you need to clean the house let go of the you that think you need to behave a certain way in public or even in your own home that you need to behave in a certain way or you need to think certain thoughts there's nothing wrong with that it's just that there is so much more within you there is a whole as a whole side of you that is underneath that surface it is like the tip of the iceberg that's all you are seeing when you're looking in the mirror just the tip of the iceberg that is left to be seen and yet the majority of who you truly are is below the surface and we are now encouraging you all to start to get in touch with that part of you you can do and get in touch of that part of you as much or as, as little as you feel comfortable at first because getting to know who you are is the journey the journey of a, a soul the journey of you as a soul and this life is simply one chapter in this book in your book in your akashic record 
has been so many lifetimes. There's actually been so many parallel lifetimes. And it's all been recorded for you. And as much as you think you have lived many lifetimes, I just want you to know that all those lifetimes that you may remember or may not remember that you have lived, you have just managed to scratch one tiny bit of who you truly are. There are so much more beneath. And now the energy is supporting you to start to get to know that real you at a much deeper level. All the things that you think you need to do, you need to cook, you need to get dressed, you need to get, you need to wash your face, brush your teeth, all those activities are just ways to keep you occupied and distracting yourself from what this whole lifetime is about. This whole lifetime is only for you to explore a tiny fraction of yourself. If, if you want to be engaged with all these other activities. However, for some people, the most fruitful and worthwhile activity is to actually start to dial back on those other activities, those other distractions and actually start to look within and see through the layers of this illusion that you have set up for yourself. You can actually start to peel off those layers, those service layers of yourself And start to experience the other parts of you that's been really hidden deep down. And it is now ready for each and every one to explore as quickly or as slowly as it is your soul wish to explore. It is you that are in the driver's seat. The more you can remember to look within, not just within, but actually look behind the surface layers drop below and see what's underneath that and take the time to really get to know who you truly are. You may discover that you are magnificent. You are the fabric of reality. You are eternal. And that you truly are the creator of your own life. and start to remember that you actually lack nothing. All you have to do 
is to ask it and the universe will answer you because that's why the universe is here is to answer you is to bring you whatever it is that you're asking tap into who you are at that level there are many levels of you a service level you are fearful you're concerned about everything you're worried about everything and every little upset will throw you off your game sometimes for an hour sometimes for even longer and when you are in that service level of who you think you are and all those things come up and all those thoughts yell at you screaming at you trying to get your attention hey look at me look at this you said this to this person and they are mad at you now you're in big trouble something along that line but that is just because those are just the illusions they are trying to distract you and when you just observe and take a deep breath in and remind yourself that you are not those thoughts you have thoughts but you're not your thoughts you're the one you're the consciousness that gets to choose which thoughts you want to put more attention on and what are the thoughts that really does not concern you at all and start to push away the thoughts that does not allow you to get to know who you are there's a lot of different narratives each time you turn on the computer turn on your television turn on your cell phone there are so many different stories vying for your attention there are people around you that wants to convince you that they are right so many different stories this is the time for you to connect deep within yourself to connect with the story that your soul is interested to foster to grow and only that story 
and only pay attention to the details that would bring up that story that aligns with you at a soul level. And we are each being asked to connect with that. True self from deep within. And to align with it. And to align with it with conviction. It is okay for other people to have their own stories. That is their choice. And have compassion for other people's choice that may be different from yours. But compassion does not mean you have to agree with their choice. Stick by what your soul wants you to do now. Because that is the most important thing to get clear on here and now. What do you stand for? Who are you truly? Are you the little person that gets scared, that has to follow orders? Or are you eternal essence embodied? Feel, feel within this connection with yourself. And this is what we are bringing you this evening is this connection to who you are. You don't have words for that right now. You simply have a feeling. This feeling of peace and calm. You simply have this feeling of being connected. You don't know where this is going to lead you yet. And we cannot tell you where this is going to lead you because it's going to be different for each and every one of you. This connection and this feeling of knowing. Follow this feeling. And this feeling will lead you to do the things that you so really wants you to do and is trying its very best to guide you to do. Follow this feeling of knowing. This is a feeling that is within the core of your body. 
We can feel that. All of you, your whole body, your whole torso, the core of you within is completely aligned. And that is the feeling to follow. And when something is presented to you and you get this feeling, then you know that is the right option for you and that you are being guided to take that direction. No idea where that is going to lead you. And that's how the guidance system is. Inner knowing. And knowing that resonates from your heart all throughout your body. It is the best kind of guiding system because no one can go in and change, rewrite it. or delete some of it, because this guidance system is an inner knowing, a marriage between your heart and the congruence that you feel within your body. And you will know it you will know that something is real for you if you have this feeling. When you hear something and you get this full body resonance, you know it is true for you. just want you to feel how that feel within your body. You can feel this feeling that you have nothing to worry about, that you know exactly who you are and you know you're in position to handle whatever life will throw at you next. And that is the feeling that we're giving you this evening. The feeling of connection, connection with who you are deep within. Allow this feeling to be your guidance. And whenever you feel flustered or challenged by your daily life, then take time. And just come back. Come back in to this feeling. When you come back and get connected with this feeling, this deep part, this deep connection with yourself. You will know what to let go of 
and what to take in and what your next step needs to be. It's a very simple practice and it's a very powerful practice to remember to come back to who you are. And this we leave with you this evening. For we love you. We love you very much. And when you feel connected to this part of you, You have this feeling that you don't need anything because you already have it. There is no lack. There is no doubt. You simply are. You don't need love because you simply are. And this is who you truly are, deep within. There is this treasure. This is our message to you this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye and thank you.